We're coming to you today from Martinsburg, West Virginia to give you an inside tour of one of the busiest parts of Berkeley County. I'm Hannah and this is my business partner, Kristen. Moving to a new area can be daunting, especially if you can't quite visualize some of the local hot spots and places you'll be spending your time. We're starting with coffee shops because I always need to know where the coffee shops are whenever I visit a new place. It's one of my favorite spots to go. And then we're gonna also gonna be dropping into some parks, restaurants, shops, all kinds of stuff. We'll even tell you a little bit about nightlife. Yeah, we'll drive by some bars. It's too early for alcohol for me. Well, we'll see how long this takes. <laughs> Back to coffee shops, I feel like you really get to know a place by the coffee shops. Personally, I love the people watching. I like to be able to go and work a little bit sometimes. And we can't really talk about coffee shops in Martinsburg without talking about the Burnt Bean Company. Yeah. Everyone raves about the specialty coffee and the atmosphere here. We just got to meet the owner. Yeah, he was great. Mm -hmm. He gave us some tips on his favorite spots as well. I got the peanut brittle latte, which I was a little bit afraid of, but I asked him to put a little less sweetness in and it is perfect. What did you get? I got the London Fog, which is one of my favorites. I think we talked about that on a video before. We did. <laughs> so if you're a super fan, you'll remember. Yeah, yeah. Th <laughs> Easter egg throwback. Community Cup Coffee and more also stands out as one of the coziest gathering spots in Martinsburg with fresh baked goods, lunch options, and all kinds of hot and cold drinks. I'm feeling caffeinated now, so let's head to the park. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to War Memorial Park. This park is known for mini golf, playgrounds, picnic areas, they have summer concerts, and even a pool in the summer. Martinsburg is surrounded by natural beauty and offers many opportunities for outdoor recreation and enjoyment. The Martinsburg Berkeley Park and Rec offers programs and events for everyone in the community, from summer concerts to gymnastics, soccer, aquatics, and more. Aside from the War Memorial Pool, the only other public pool in Berkeley County is also in Martinsburg at the Rec Center. So if a pool is really important to you, make sure you know how close you are from these locations. There are a couple of communities that have pools, but they're kind of rare, um, but you can also look for a home pool. So lots of options. Mm -hmm. Definitely. There are 12 parks in Berkeley County. The two major ones in Martinsburg are the War Memorial Park, where we are now, covering almost 20 acres, and the Poor House Farm Park, which covers 207 acres and includes a stock trout stream, seven miles of jogging and hiking trails, a sports complex, and even some mountain biking trips. The disc golf course there is pretty popular as well. Yeah. Although I hear it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a lot to do outdoors in and around Martinsburg. Yeah. If you're exploring the area and you want to be even more up close and personal with nature, then definitely check out the Sleepy Creek Wildlife Management Area, which has tens of thousands of acres. And you'll see all kinds of wildlife there, turkey, bear, you name it. Mm. And then don't forget about Sleepy Creek Lake as well, perfect for fishing or boating. And for all you outdoor enthusiasts, there are trails galore for hiking, biking, and even horseback riding. Plus, campsites and picnic areas make it a great spot for a family getaway. Moving along, we have the Yonkar Nature Preserve, which is 104 acres. It's a sanctuary that preserves hardwood forests and then also amazing views of Potomac River. Yeah. It's a haven for rare and endangered species with trails perfect for serene hike or bird watching expeditions. Plus, they offer educational programs for those curious minds. So whether you're into wildlife adventures or serene nature preserves, Martinsburg and its surrounding areas have you covered. All that walking made me hungry, so we're heading into one of Martinsburg's most popular restaurants, Habanero Mexican Grill. The claim to fame is that they make everything from scratch. They have no freezer, microwave, or can opener in the restaurant. Those were some of the best nachos that I've had in a long time. Mm -hmm. Everything was super fresh. The guacamole was really good too. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just eat it with a fork. <laughs> There are plenty of vegetarian options here and you can turn the heat up pretty fast with our ghost pepper sauce. If you love nachos, you would love the options here. We definitely did. Spoken like a true nacho aficionado. Oh yes, I could create a whole series pairing houses with the nachos you can have nearby. Perfect. We're excited to tell you about a new popular place in Martinsburg. It's called the Garage on King. It offers at least eight different dining options under one roof, as well as live music and shows each week. There's something for everyone here with empanadas, gumbo, crab egg rolls, barbecue, and more. This is definitely a local favorite. I think I could eat three meals in a row here. <laughs> Not only do they provide some amazing dining options, but they also offer support to local entrepreneurs who want to start their own business, but may need a little bit of help with the startup costs. So it's a win for your taste buds and for the community. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you will want to drop in on Fin Tai to try my favorite dish there, the lemongrass soup. You know a restaurant is good if the soup gets mentioned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second for me is the chicken pad thai. That's on my top five. Mine's a toss between the Penang curry and the drunken noodles, depending on how spicy I'm feeling. <laughs> for anyone looking for vegetarian options, you'll want to check out the Good Natured Market and Vegetarian Cafe for your colorful veggies, or to stock up on local ciders and beers. There are a number of chain restaurants here as well for anyone longing for a familiar dish. We've got Cracker Barrel, Olive Garden, Cafe del Sol, Outbook Steakhouse, and more. So whatever you're in the mood for, Martinsburg's dining scene has got you covered. Comment below if we missed one of your favorite restaurants so our viewers can be sure to check it out when they come to Martinsburg next. Mm -hmm. Before we move on, if this video has been helpful for you, we would love it if you would leave us a comment or like. Or if you're ready to start planning your trip to Martinsburg, reach out for our free visitor's guide to check out our curated list of spots to visit, including places we couldn't fit in this video. While we were out, we took a little side trip to De Fleury's Fine Chocolates. It was a long side trip because they had so many options. I felt like I was in a candy shop in Disney World. Now it was really spectacular. Are we going to try it now? Sure, we'll try it now. Okay, it's this one. Is that this one then too? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, that's good. So good. I can see this. The Snickers was dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could see this definitely working. <laughs> we also checked out the West Virginia Glass Shop that had some beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. Truly unique, all kinds of great jewelry and gifts, so a nice place to go to find a gift for someone. Yep. For those of you night owls, we're going to highlight the nightlife and entertainment scene right here in Martinsburg. That's right, Kristen. Whether you're looking to unwind with friends or catch some live music, Martinsburg has something for everyone. Let's start with Bad Habits Bar and Grill, where you can soak up the atmosphere on their spacious outdoor patio while enjoying delicious food and drinks. This is the perfect spot to kick back and relax with live music from talented local and regional bands lighting up the weekend. And for you sports fans looking to catch the game, Ollie's VIP Northside Sports Bar and Grill is the place to be. With multiple TVs and a full bar, it's the ultimate destination to cheer on your favorite team as well enjoying a menu of classic bar fare. And for those seeking a fancier night, Bricks 27 is where you want to be. With its elegant ambiance and diverse menu of fine dining options, it's the perfect place for a special night out. But there's more to Martinsburg than just bars and restaurants. You can explore the historic downtown area with its charming shops and galleries, perfect for an afternoon stroll. And don't forget about the local theater scene. Between the historic Apollo Civic Theater right behind us and the <laughs> Wonderment Puppet Theater, you can catch a show or live performance by talented artists from the area. Whether you're into outdoor adventures, culinary treats, or simply enjoying a night out on the town, Martinsburg has something for everyone to enjoy. Now that you know a little bit about Martinsburg, get ready to know about the surrounding areas with our video about moving to Berkeley County, pros, the cons, and the best places to live. See you next time. See you next time. You left me hanging. Oh. <laughs>